everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Digimon Story Hacker's Memory. Uh, when we last left off, we got done with the, uh, case that mm, had to do with the paranormal. And now we're going to deal with this one. But, round and round we go. When we stop, you will know. Can you guess? Can you guess who is behind you? Oh. Oh, man. Come on, who is it? Wrong again. You've had so many chances. Maybe... Yuki? Wrong, wrong, and wrong. <laughs> then it must be... Goma? He's in front of you. Hmm. Guess again. Who is it? I've said everyone's name. But you didn't get it. Come on. I don't know. Give up. Look behind you. Ugh. Oh. Okay, that was slightly terrifying. And that's what happened. Okay. Yes, what is it? I think she's wondering what you were talking about. What's that? A monster? How rude. I'm a Digimon. Sorry, you startled me. I heard you hackers use some unusual programs, but never expected anything like this. I'm Wormon. Pleased to meet you. Erica's not much of a talker. Kyosuke and I will take will talk to you. Fine by me. As much as we enjoyed listening to your reminiscence, we still don't know anything about the case. Can you explain it in more detail? Please? Yes, I'll give you as much information as I can. What I'm about to tell you wasn't a hallucination. It really happened. Okay. It happened in Eden. I'm sure you look back fondly on your childhood and enjoy meeting up with your f old friends, don't you? Yes, actually. Of course you do, but I've never been to a reunion. I don't have pleasant memories of my elementary school, junior high, or high school. Even so, I had some really good friends in the first few years of elementary. Okay. We all used to meet up after school. There were nine of us. Looking back now, we all had quite difficult upbringings. That's why we got along so well. Boy or girl, it didn't matter. During summer vacation, we'd go to all sorts of places together. Parks, forests, alleyways. I've been thinking about those days a lot but didn't think I'd ever see any of them again. Even if I could remember their faces, I'd forgotten their names. We all use nicknames, you see. Okay, that's quite a few. I was Kin Chen, because my real name's Kin. Akko? No. No. But I couldn't remember any of their real names. Maybe I never even knew their names. The only things I remember were the general location of the club we used to go to and the years we spent there. My nostalgia drove me to do some digging and I found the name of the club. 
It has a social media community and groups for different generations. I joined up and found five of my friends. The six and or so of us spent hours talking about old times. One of them still lives in the area. He managed to track down the other three and invited them to join us. All nine of us were finally back together again. Chatting online wasn't enough, but we were all reluctant to meet up in the real world. But these are amazing times we live in. Now we have a place where people like us can re reunite. The Eden Cyberspace. We decided to meet up again, but it's our childhood selves and play like we did back in those days. Hang on. I thought people weren't allowed to use avatars that don't look like their real selves. That hasn't been made law yet, but it's in the Eden terms of use. I know we're breaking the rules, but... Relax. We're in no position to complain about you modifying your avatars. It's not as if we haven't broken a few rules in our own time. I assume that's why you've come to us instead of the police or Kamashiro. That's right. I hope you understand my situation. Meeting up as childhood, and as children, is the only way that has any meaning to me. To all of us. I modified the avatars myself. I used to have a job doing something similar. Then what? Tell us the rest of your story already. It was amazing. We met every weekend. We didn't talk about work or boring stuff like that. We just relived our childhood. We climbed trees, played hide and seek, pinball. Because it's cyberspace, we could recreate any place we wanted. We could visit places we always wanted to as children, but couldn't. Then we went back to our secret base, and the thing I mentioned earlier happened. We were playing a game where I had to guess who was standing behind me. They gave me lots of chances, but it was so strange. I kept guessing until I said all eight of their names, but they still said I was wrong. I thought they were teasing me, so I took the blindfold off. When I turned around, the person there didn't have a face. Why are you so frightened? You've heard this part already. It's the way he tells it. It's so scary. And a person with no face. That's scary no matter how many times you hear about it. it must be a ghost. A cyberspace ghost. Says the digital monster. May I... May I continue? Please. I had Noah. He had... It, it, Sorry. It had no eyes, no nose, no mouth, nothing. I'm ashamed to admit it, but it really shook me up, and I logged out without saying anything to the others. What happened? Who was it? That's all I want to know. I want you to find out. Please, will you help me? Uh, what do you think? It sounds interesting. You took the case. You decide. Hmm... Then let's do it. Great. We'll take your case, leave it to us. Thank you. I'll be waiting to hear from you. What do you make of it? Uh, could be a bug. Could be a ghost. But... I'm gonna go with ghost. Why would there be a ghost in cyberspace? Don't talk nonsense. Erica, you should be in charge of this investigation. Data analysis is your specialty. I'll start by checking the recording from when the client and his friends met in Eden. It sounds like they met multiple times. I'll extract some of the footage. It just looks like a bunch of kids playing. Have you noticed something? I think I know what's going on here. Okay. 
We're here. So this is where you met your friends, huh? What's wrong? I wonder how they'll react when they find out I brought outsiders to our secret base. We're here to investigate for you. Or should we stop? No, I'll explain it to them. Please carry on. Erica, what's wrong? Just as I thought. I want to ask them about what happened during the game. Okay. Well, let's start with you. Uh, well... Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be rude. What did the rest of you do after the game? You mean after Kinchan left? Since Kinchan was gone, we decided to call it a, a day. A uh. Huh? What was that? It's rude to stare. Say something. I see. Erica, did you do that? Kind of. Um, it's just as I thought. Are they not actual people, but AIs? Kinchan looks like everyone's here. What shall we play today? Huh? Where are they? Is that a bug? I'm not a bug. I'm... I'm a warm mug. By the way, we want to ask you something. You said everyone's here, but isn't there anyone out of... out of place? Huh? It's the usual bunch, right, Kinchan? That's right, no mistake. The pieces are missing. What was that? That reaction. What was that noise just now? Don't ask me. Kinchan, what happened last time? We were so worried when you left in such a hurry. Sorry, I wasn't feeling very well. Huh? Who are they? There's something they... There's something they want to ask you, isn't that right, Erica? Who was standing behind him when he left the game? Hmm? Who was it? I was su so surprised when you suddenly rushed to the logout zone. We didn't remember it clearly. Oh, sorry about that. Don't you remember who was behind him? It was someone with no facial features, wasn't it? Uh, it was... Um, who was it now? No. Huh? What was that? It was nothing. That's all I wanted to ask. Thanks. What's going on here? I've heard all I need to know. Have you two figured it out? You mean who the faceless person was? I have no idea. Mr. Akai... Akio? I'll ask your friends and find out who the faceless person was. Okay. I think I said that right, I don't know. Hey, Kinchan, what's going on? Why have you brought these strangers here? This is our space, we agreed. We're hackers, sorry to intrude. We'll be gone as soon as we finish up here. Kinchan, what's all this about? Sorry to break my promise. But I need to find out the truth, so that we can keep playing together. I have to know who the faceless person standing behind me during the game was. Huh? Faceless person? Alright, that's what we're here to determine. Faceless person. Kinchan, you must have been mistaken. No, it was clear as day. I turned around and there was someone with no face standing right there. But look around. There's no one like that. It's not here now, but I saw it. it. Must have something to do with the distortions I saw. Huh? So everyone here now is the same as during the game, correct? 
think back, isn't there a dis discrepancy between Mr. Akio's account and the current situation? See, it shows them playing just as Mr. Akio said. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Am I miscounting? Okay, I'm counting 10 people. First I've counted 11, then I counted 10. But there's supposed to be 9. But look closely, notice anything unusual? There are ten people. You're right. Let me see. Huh? There are nine of us, but the video shows ten. What's going on? Exactly. There should be nine of you. Now, count how many of you there are. Three? Six? That makes ten. This can't be. There's... There's... Ten of us. Correct. There's someone here you don't know. How's that possible? We reserve this area through the proper channels. No one could just wander in. A hacker of Erica's skill wouldn't find it difficult. And it might not be a hacker. But all... But we all know each other. We'd know if there was someone here who shouldn't be. We've been... You've been tricked by a shapeshifter. Have you figured out how the shapeshifter joined them without anyone noticing? Uh, by creating a fake avatar, by using a hologram... Uh, hologram... Our fake avatar. These are my two best choices. I'm gonna go with... Hologram? So, yeah. It's a fake avatar. It was a hologram, it wouldn't be able to hold hands. Everyone take a good look at your bodies. What's this? Your face is mis is messed up. There's noise all over you. Erica, are you doing this? What's going on? Don't worry. It won't cause any harm. I'll make them go back to normal. Did you do that before? Yes, I did. I did it to make it the distortions on your avatars easier to see. The noise you just saw is the fake parts on your bodies, copies of the child parts you used to make your avatars. Um, what exactly do you mean? The shapeshifter took body parts from each of you, each of your nine avatars, and used them to make a new human avatar. Then it replaced those parts with copies. I see. Because it made the avatar from familiar parts, we, we mistook it for one of us. But if it has the ability to create copy parts, why make an avatar from our parts? Right. It would, it would have been much easier to make an avatar by just using the copy parts, right? As you saw just now, the copies aren't very noticeable on each of your avatars, but it... If you look closely, they're not like the real parts. That's why it used real parts from each of you. Instead of making an avatar entirely from from copy parts, that allowed it to go unnoticed. And so none of you noticed that there was a tenth person. Okay. The reason I could see the distortion so easily when none of you could is because I didn't know any of you. 
Ooh, makes sense. Only someone in your group of friends would mistake the imposter for one of you. That's what happened. You're being very quiet. Are you following this? Yes. Are you sure? Let's see. If I apply noise to the copy of our parts, can you tell me who the imposter is? Uh... Won't the person be with no noise? Or... Covered in noise? Now, since they borrowed the parts and left copies behind, they would be one with no noise. That's right. You have to do some of the work. You are the one who took the case, after all. Alright. Uh... Bingo. You're the imposter. Show your true form. Yee. Oh, Impmon. <laughs> well done. Now to steal some different parts and change my disguise again. Who would be in this avatar? Just like a game of hide and seek. Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but... It's time to put you down. Or at least, in your place. This is gonna hurt. Eh, quite a bit of damage, but not quite what I'm needing. Okay. Another good hit. Uh, speed charge. And now we'll hit you with this. Cool. Okay, I surrender. Please forgive me, I just wanted to play with them. I only disguised myself because I thought they'd be scared of my true form. I wasn't going to hurt anyone. But you trespassed on our memories. Why did you do it? I don't have any memories of playing with friends. I got jealous watching them. What should we do? Um, let's watch and see what happens. Just watch? I don't see a problem. Kinchan? We had fun, didn't we? He's one of us now. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah, you can play with us. Thank you. I don't mind. But in your true form, no more disguises. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Let's go. Okay. Thank you so much. We just took your case and solved it. Even so, I'm still grateful we've made a new friend thanks to you. Come on. They're calling you. You'd better hurry. Okay. Thanks again. Hey, wait for me. What's wrong, Erica? Erica doesn't have any memories of playing with friends like that. She's a little jealous of them. Ah. Well, we can always help her make some memories. Good idea. There's still time. Let's help her make lots of great memories. I can hear everything you're saying. Don't talk about embarrassing stuff like that. And I can guess the type of rambunctious, crazy memories you have in mind. 
Although... It could be fun. Well, that went fairly well. Let's turn this in. Hey, Faye. What's up? Op Operation Catch Ryuji is ready to roll. Come on back. We're having a hoodie huddle. <laughs> Clever. Hey, calm down. Yeah, I can tell she has. お前こそどこの誰だよ。警察の邪魔するとわたしじゃないよ。エリカが言ったんだよ。なんだお前。可愛いもん連れたりくっつけたりしやがって。そんなぬいぐるみどこで買ったんだこら。わけのわからん絡み方はやめなはれ。話が血とも進まへん。これは
これは二度と使えない計画よ必ず龍二を捕まえな秋間編で心配すんなよよっしゃそうと決まればさっさと始めようぜ I have a bad feeling if she's gonna go with me おいお前龍二の射程は私の射程だ面倒見てやっからよついてきな Oh, great. しかし、あんさん。覚悟は縁か。兄さんと戦うことになるんです。おばさんには関係ないよ。ははあ。あのね。実は。あれでとっても感謝してるの。協力してくれるって聞いてから。後でお礼しなきゃってずっと考えてた